thankfulness was not uh, so so much but they were just uh, unthankful to Allah so because they changed even the message of Allah so that was they have done the biggest blunder so and even when uh, someone to say them that you will go to hell also and they were to say yes we will go to hell just for on the in the days which are numbered mean in the which days like a few days like we will go there because our forefathers they were just to worship 40 days the golden calf so we will go there for 40 days then we will come back from Jan from the hell and go to Jannah so there were different type of opinions of, of those people about their punishment so they told that one is Allah is explaining that one in this ayat we read now Allah said وَقَالُوا and they say they mean the Jews the Bani Israel and those people who were Jews or Bani Israel they say Lan tamassana naro Lan Never Tamassana never will touch us Nar mean the fire So the fire will never touch us Lan tamassana naro The fire will not touch us Illa But Ayyaman the days maduda mean a few or the number number mean the counted like the counted days like maybe they say 40 days in one they say like because the our forefathers like the Bani Israel when the Musa Islam went to uh, the Mount Sinai and that time for 40 days our forefathers they say they worshipped golden calf so because of that Allah will send us for the 40 days into the hell so then we will be saved and Allah will take us out of the hell and will send to the paradise so this is one idea what they got about their punishment and this way <coughs> What other thing we can read this ayat first? Allah said that Kul say say to them Attahastum have you done a in the life with Allah Ahdan a covenant a promise have you done a promise with Allah? Have you done a covenant with Allah? Falan Yuchlifullahu Falan So never Yukhlif Allah will not break Ahadahu his covenant, his promise. So Allah said, you know, it is the Allah, when Allah makes a promise with someone, 
Allah never break the promise. So this way Allah said, if you have done any promise with Allah, then it is the uh, Allah who makes a, pro a promise with someone, then Allah never break the promise. But how can you say you made a promise with Allah? It means you are lying. Kul attakhaztum in dallahi. Say to them, have you taken in dallahi with Allah ahdan a promise? Falain yukhlif allahu. So never Allah break ahdahu his promise. Allah will never break his promise. Am takuluna. Or you say to them, Alallahi mala talamun. Am takuluna. Say to them, tell them because am or takuluna you say. You mean, here is, you mean the, uh, the Jews. Because they say, all Allah over Allah, towards Allah, blame to Allah. And ma'ala talamun, even they don't know. Because Allah said, how can you understand, have you done any promise with Allah that Allah will never punish you or Allah will punish you only a few days or only the days which are numbered only? How can you claim this one? Because all these your claims, even you don't know about, about them, so you are lying in that one. So Allah have never promised with you, but it is the way of Allah. When Allah promise anything, Allah fulfills that promise every time. So this is the way the Allah when do promise with someone. So Allah commit the promise. But here, how can you say you have made a promise with Allah that Allah will send you in the hell for only a few days? How is possible? Where is the promise? You are really blaming to Allah. So this was the other biggest sinful thing what they did. So they were so dishonest, even they never left Allah to blame Astaghfirullah. So the Jews, they also said that we are the chosen people of Allah. Allah will uh, send to the paradise. Even some of them, because those people, they believe that the Prophet, uh, that the Uzair al-Islam is a uh, son of Allah. And some Jews, they were believing that one, that they are the sons of Allah. So even you can say some of the Jews, they also believe that the age of this world is 7,000 years. And for every thousand years, we will be sent to the hell for one day. So when 7,000 years mean, so it means seven days we will go to the hell only then Allah will send us back to the paradise so they were expecting this uh, Abdullah bin Abbas anhu, he said the Rasulullah sallallahu sallam, <coughs> the Jews said to the Rasulullah sallallahu sallam, we will <coughs> we will stay in the hell for only 40 days And then we will be exchanged with the other people of your Ummah. It means the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They said, your people will take the place and we will leave that one. It means the hell place where we will be in the hell. So that place will be empty after 40 days and Allah will send 
uh, your people or people from Ummah, your Ummah people in that place and Allah will take us from the hell and will send to the paradise. So this was the answer what they said to the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he placed his hand on their head and said, you will stay in the hell forever. So it means, <clears throat> so these people, because they say that the uh, in our place, the Muslims will go, Muslims of the followers of Holy Prophet Wasallam, they will be in a place in the hell and we will leave the hell. We go to Jannah and they will stay in the hell. Astaghfirullah. This is the other thing what they have done uh, with the Prophet Wasallam that is based on blaming and based on unreality. So these type of things that those people they have done. So the Jews, so the Bani Israel. So this way the main thing is that those people they blamed so much even they never left uh, Allah uh, so their behavior and uh, their treatment uh, and their you can say the the religion that was given to them by Musa Islam and the people who and the brother prophets who followed Musa Islam up to the uh, up to Isa Islam before Isa Islam so they all of them so they were given a pure religion Islam in the form of Torah and Sunnah of Musa Islam so Torah was their book and that worked up to the Isa Islam then Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent down Bible to Isa Islam so this way the main thing is that so those people they got the blessings of Allah the Jews but they were not so much thankful to Allah that is the problem so we are getting here and a lesson also that we must be thankful to Allah for every blessings what Allah is doing on us and we should expect that Allah will be merciful at the day of judgment inshallah and we will get the good place in Jannah inshallah but we have to keep our eyes in our daily routine work we have to look what type of deeds we are doing and how we are building our iman our faith so the building of the faith and also doing of good deeds we must watch every time and we have to keep our close eyes on these things so that we must be the successful people in this world and the world hereafter inshallah